Hey guys, welcome to African Daisy Tarot. All my information is in the description box below. Um, so we'll check your current energy, what to look out for this week, and what is the advice. My readings are timeless, so whenever you watch it, it's for the next seven days, okay? So you've got the Queen of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay. Um, so with the Queen of Cups, uh, right now your emotions are all over the place. Okay, so you might be feeling like you don't really know how to handle everything that's coming up. It's like your heart is super full, but you don't know how to express it and what to do with all these feelings. You might even be trying to figure out how to keep it all together emotionally. Um, at the same time, you're deep in your emotions. Okay, so this is one of those times where you're feeling a lot... Um, a lot and it's important to to acknowledge it even if you don't have all the answers yet uh with the four of pentacles here this is kind of bringing in a bit of um i can't let you go energy so you could be holding tightly to a person or a relationship maybe even feeling a little possessive um it's that fe fear of losing someone or something uh you might be clinging to it because you're afraid of what would happen if you let go so whether it's about love or fear um this card is all about that need to hold on when letting go feels impossible. Uh, with the Magician card here, this is, I feel like this is uh, this is like admiration because I'm looking at how the Queen of Cups is looking at that cup. So you might be looking at someone in your life and thinking, you know, um, it, it's something admirable about them. You, you, you wish to be like them. You wish that they, there's something that they do. Maybe it's their creativity um, that you are admiring and feeling like that they have some kind of qualities that you admire. Um, there's a sense of wanting to step up or, or becoming more of what they are, right? So the magician is kind of like recognizing your own power too. Maybe this person makes you feel like you can do something. It's very, they're very inspiring. Or maybe some of you are just holding on to someone um, that you see as very inspiring and, and, and they, and yeah, inspiring. And you might be feeling like, um, yeah, you might be feeling like, the, you know, they have this magic and you're just trying to catch up, you know, that, that sort of feeling. Okay. So what to, what to look out for? The King of Cups. Wow. It's a counterpart. The Wheel of Fortune and the High Priestess. to look out for so with the king of cups this is about caring deeply but not really showing it okay that's the king of cups is very he, he's he's able to regulate his emotions you know so someone around you may, you know maybe even your partner they really care you know but they're not that great maybe at expressing their emotions so it's like they have all these feelings for you but they kind of keep keep them bottled up or maybe they don't know how to how to let you see how much they actually care. This is somebody probably who is not used to expressing their feelings. Um, you know, the King of Cups is a master at like keeping it cool, you know, but but underneath that surface, there's a lot more going on emotionally. With a Wheel of Fortune, this is about timing. So you might be feeling the things, that things could be a little off or you're waiting for the right moment to make a move. Um, the wheel is constantly spinning. So it feels like a stalemate right now um yeah so just yeah just know that um timing is everything in this situation so it's about trusting that things will happen when they're supposed to um yeah you could be waiting for the right moment in your relationship or wondering if things will change you know the card is kind of just saying that divine timing is at play here okay uh yeah and especially with the high priestess that's also listening to your intuition you know, um, that gut feeling that's been tugging at you, maybe, you know, you already know the answers here. If you've been doubting something, um, this is about trusting your instincts. Something is feeling off. It probably is, you know, something feels right. Don't second guess it. You know, you've got that sixth sense kicking in right now. So, um, yeah, fo follow that because it's guiding you in the right direction here. Okay. So what is the advice? Queen of Wands, King of Cups reversed, and the Devil. So it's not uncommon to see two of the same tarot cards come out. I use a blend of two tarot decks. If you watch my previous videos, you'll be able to see that. It's just my 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 way of doing it. Okay. So yeah. So the advice here, the Queen of Wands. 
Um, this is pretty like, the Queen of Wands is like a mistress. She can be very charming, very alluring, very intoxicating, right? So, you know, she's got that energy that, that pulls people in. She's got that confidence, that vibe. So it's kind of magnetic right now. So whether you realize it or not, you've got this energy that's drawing people toward you. So the Queen of Wands is all about, you know, it could be he, she, they, doesn't matter your gender. Um, it's, it's about standing in your power, you know, and letting that natural charm and passion kind of shine through. So, um, yeah, I feel like people around you are definitely feeling that. Okay. Uh, with the King of Cups reverse, this is, this is kind of giving me, hmm, I, I'm kind of getting the player type, but I'm not really, it's because it's, it's a smart player is what I, I say the King of Cups in the reverse is because the Knight of the, the King of Wands in the reverse could be like this, you know, um, the knight, sorry, the Knight of Wands is the player uh, in the reverse, and the the King of Wands in the reverse is also a, like a serial cheater. Somebody, it's like the cheater of all cheaters, and ruthlessly too. And uh, the King of Cups is more emotionally manipulative, right? So he they they're very manipulative in how they they play. So um, this is somebody who's who's very charming. They use a lot of emotions, you know. They but I feel like they're not showing their their true intentions. Okay, um, they could be manipulative, or maybe, or maybe I'm trying to see the positive in here because I, you know what? No, there's no positive in this one because you've got the devil card right next to it. So I was going to say that you know they could be manipulative, or maybe they're only showing you what they want you to see. But I feel like it's done because of um, you know, especially with the devil here. This is their their toxic behavior, right? So this, they're not necessarily a bad person or a malicious, right? This is somebody who could marry you and have a family with you. I just feel like they are very stuck in their ways, okay? Their toxic ways. And, you know, just be cautious of people who come off as, you know, super smooth, you know? And, and this is somebody who has hidden motives for sure. But like I said, they're not, it's not that they don't love you or don't care about you. They just know how to use emotions, right? They, they feel like they have to manipulate you somehow. Um, if something feels too good to be true, it, it's worth taking that second second look, right? And especially with the devil right here, it's this is tied to temptation, you know? So things like drugs, alcohol, toxic habits, as I said, with the king of cups in the reverse. Uh, just be careful that, that you might something, anything that might pull you into some kind of negative cycle, especially if you already see the red flags. So whether it's a person, a habit, you know, um, you know, the devil kind of says, just watch out for the things that seem fun, but, you know, they could lead you down down a dark path. Um, so it's all about just being mindful of where you're putting your energy and kind of making sure it's not dragging you into something harmful. Okay, so that's all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in.